If you've ever thought about offering VIP days as part of your service, or if you're offering them in your business right now, it goes without saying that you want to do everything that you can possibly do in order for them to be profitable, right? Duh. Time is tight on VIP days and the financial stakes are high. So what can you do to make sure they're as profitable as possible? I'm your lawyer friend, Maria, who just happens to serve soul-led coaches, healers, and soulful business owners. Let's take a look at VIP days. days. All right, there are two contract terms that I absolutely love to see inside of VIP day contracts. And the first is a client communication clause. And that makes a few things clear. Number one, it makes clear that they have to be there to communicate with you in order for you to be successful with the VIP day. That might not mean that they have to sit at their computer and wait, but it means that they have to know that you're going to be contacting them so that you can work on whatever you're working on and get the feedback necessary for you to do what you do. That also means that you might add a term in that client communication clause that says, because if there's a delay in services because you're not responding to me and I can't do what I need to do, that's going to affect the VIP day and I can't be on the hook for your failure to communicate with me. Okay, we talked about a client communication clause and how that will impact the profitability of your VIP day, making that clear, that client communication piece. The next clause that I have to see in a VIP day is a cancellation policy. Cancellation. So what happens if you have an emergency and you've got to go? How do the finances shake out? What about the client? What if the client wants to cancel halfway through the VIP day for any reason? For cause, which might be they don't like the work that they're seeing so far and they don't want to go any further. Or without cause, just because they feel like it. They don't want to continue with you any further. Or maybe they cancel the VIP day a week before. Your policies for each one of those cancellations might be a little bit different depending on the circumstances. So what I'm telling you to do is think through those scenarios and then add a cancellation policy clause to your VIP day contract. There is a lot more that goes into VIP days than just those things, but those are two areas where I must see some kind of breakdown, thoughts, policies on those things in order for your VIP day to be profitable. Bottom line, it comes down to setting expectations between you and your client on how these things will shake out. I hope that helps you think through legal ways to make your VIP days more profitable. And I'll see you next time. Head to the legalapothecary.com slash resources for my latest free resource for coaches, healers, and soul led business owners. It is a free guide that will help you add the language that you need to better protect your website in less than 15 minutes. Again, that's the legalapothecary.com slash resources.